We got home from our trip last night and you can see that our house is in utter chaos. <laughs> so today we are going to spend most of the day unpacking and getting the rest of our Christmas up. Each time we go out of town, I like to try and eat everything out of the fridge so that there is nothing left in the fridge when we leave. However, when we get home from trips, we come home to an empty fridge. Luckily, today's video is going to be sponsored by HelloFresh. I'm also going to be out of town next week, and so I didn't want to go grocery shopping and fill the fridge full of food, and that's what I really love about HelloFresh is you can go in and you can pause your meals, you can um, schedule when you want the meals to come, and then also how many meals you need so that there's no waste. This week what I chose to have come in my box was vegetarian meals. You can either do vegetarian, meat, they have other options like Calorie Smart. These are the meals that came in and I think I'm going to be making the barbecue pineapple flatbread for when the kids get home from school. Here's everything that comes inside of the bags that you will need to make your meal. Everything is pre-portioned so you don't waste any food, which is super important to me. I'll also never get over how flippin' cute these little tiny individual servings are for your meals. Um, on the back of your recipe card, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make your meals. These are so fast. It usually takes about 30 minutes to make the meals, which is about how long it would take me to go get fast food. I prefer this over fast food any day of the week. It's quick, it's easy, and the meals are so delicious. So something that I've realized as I'm sitting here cooking this meal is that I have saved all of these recipe cards and HelloFresh has literally taught me how to be a better cook. I have these and there's just tips and tricks that they routinely have through their recipes that teach you how to be a better cook. And this is just a Bonnie tidbit for you. I keep the bag and I put all of my garbage in the bag so that when I'm done cooking, my kitchen is still clean. Mixing the pineapple and onions in vinegar is one of those steps that I never would have thought of, but it's so simple and it drastically changes how good your meal is. The flatbread pizza is ready to go in the oven. I have minimal dishes, garbage is ready to go out, and my kitchen is still in super good shape. Thank you very much. HelloFresh is now from 566 per serving. While that's cooking, I wanna let you guys know that you can get started with nine free meals, which is $90 off your first month of HelloFresh, including shipping. If you go to hellofresh.com and enter promo code BONNIEH9. The pizzas look great. The kids are now home from school, which is perfect timing. Yes, pizza. Yeah. So <laughs> I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much. What? How did that tooth come out? Well, um, we went on a field trip today, and then <coughs> this is all my tooth. And oh, <laughs> my gosh. And then oh, I, I, yank, I yanked it out, and then my tooth was at the point where you could rip it out and then <coughs> So who pulled it out? You? Mm -hmm. No, by yourself? I got toilet paper and I ripped it. Bossy, I'm so excited for you. Let me see again. I have to have like the most clear shot ever. This is very important. <gasps> Open your mouth. So that, I think, oh my gosh, Joel, I wondered what that was behind his tooth. I thought he bit on something. That tooth is huge. The one coming in? Yes, the one coming, it's coming in sideways because there's not room for it. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, his teeth are baby tiny. I don't know how you're gonna have room for more teeth in that mouth of yours, Boston. <laughs> That's so exciting. And I got Cody's jacket. Where was it? Lost and found. So today is very eventful. Boston lost a tooth and you got a what? Bloody mouse. So me and my friends were playing tag and um, I fell. And I never noticed that I was by a pole, and my friend was about to tag me, so I turned, and and I hit my nose on the pole. Oh, so what did you do? I got up, and then um, I thought it was snot, but <laughs> I always do this whenever I hit my nose, and then... Saw blood? Yeah. Dang. Look at that teeny tiny tooth, Boston. <laughs> <laughs> she is excited. Aww, we've been. This is the yes, <laughs> yes. You can have your baby, baby tiny tooth. This is the first time the kids are seeing Lady. She's been at a puppy hotel while we've been gone out of town. 
Are you hiding? Come here. Oh, good girl. She has been so timid since she's been home. So I don't really think I've talked very much about this um, on YouTube. I've shared a lot about it on Instagram. So, which I share a lot of stuff there on Instagram. It's funny, there's like two different platforms and two different content areas. Anyway, so if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, so we took Lady to get her hair cut two times ago and she came home and had a whole, look at her, a whole bunch of hair in her eyes. We didn't know what was wrong. We called the vet um, and they were like, oh, she probably has hair in her eyes. Why don't you like get some eye drops and flush the hair out? There was literally the biggest chunk of hair that came out of her eye. It was the craziest thing. It took her a few days to get over it. Um, I thought it was a fluke. And so I took her back to the um, dog groomer and um, she came home and it was happening again. And so we flushed her eyes with eye drops and nothing was changing. You can tell it's her left eye um, that kind of is having some issues. So we took her into the vet because we couldn't, oh, she's so sweet. Oh, <laughs> she look how sweet you are. Oh, <laughs> so we took her to the vet and she, um, the lady was like, she probably has an ulcer behind her eye if her eye is that irritated with hair in it. And so they were like, let's do a dye test. They put dye in her eye and if the eye absorbs the color, that means she has ulcers behind her eye and it absorbed an immense amount of color. And so they were like, for sure she has ulcers. We'll give her an antibiotic eye drop to get rid of the ulcer. And they're like, does she sneeze a lot? We were like, all the time she sneezes, all the time. And they're like, yep, she's totally got ulcers. So anyway, and so hopefully it'll help with the oozing of her eyes. She's always had kind of oozy eyes. Um, anyway, so that's the story of Lady. And so it's not the dog groomer's fault because I think it's very normal for dogs to get hair in their eyes, but they were just super sensitive, like puppy, like mommy. I'm very sensitive and so is my little lady. Sorry, I'm staring at the viewfinder. I just can't even, she's, she's literally falling asleep in my arms. <laughs> she's falling asleep in my arms. Are you joking me? Oh, she's so tired. I bet if I just weigh her right here, she'll just fall right asleep. Oh, are you like joking me? Look at her. Oh my gosh. You are tired. Oh, don't look at my broken nails, everyone. Don't look at my broken nails yet. Oh, look at her. I'm sorry. This is just what the video is going to be. I can't even help it. Oh, <laughs> it's because I missed you while I was gone. Yes, I did. Oh. Do you guys see what's happening over here? Yeah. <laughs> the kids are over there devouring their pizza. Joel's finishing editing. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Can you even handle? Look at the cuteness. Look how gentle she is. She <sighs> is a sweet, sweet little puppy. Okay, I think that's where we are going to end the vlog here. We want to thank HelloFresh again for sponsoring today's video. If you enjoyed it, Oh my gosh, there was so much that happened. Boston's tooth, lady's eye, my I guess it's really, oh, and Boston's, Cody's bloody nose. There, that was a lot to give a thumbs up to. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. The stormy seas